Miriam Fulop, and I welcome you to Vive Miami News Arts Forum, your source for what's happening in the arts in Miami during Miami Art Week. We're presently at the Miami Design Fair, where we have a highlight of this wonderful creation by Eric Levy, a stone called Genesis. Israeli artist and designer Arik Levy has designed a collection by the name of Genesis. Eyes is the first creation of this collection and is inspired by the Arctic's frozen lakes. Through his artistic approach to architecture and design, Levy shows how the Genesis collection for Compaq enhances the genuine characteristics of quartz and marble. Genesis is a, is a beginning, like the word is. And it's a beginning of, of many things for, for me and for Compaq. It's a beginning of uh, combining art and technology. The inspiration for Genesis comes from the frozen lakes of Iceland because they create a very amazing images and the uh, ice is projecting into depth. The transition of water between liquid and solid is something which is very fascinating and what Compaq is doing, we're doing solid surfaces. So for me the quest was how to draw a vein, how to draw ice without dealing with, with water, how to create a surface which is impeccably strong and resistant but gives a feeling. So it's not about uh, creating a, a specific pattern, it's about creating an impression, a connection to nature, something that you have not seen before, walking on it, eating on it, making sculptures or artwork or design work out of it, make you think or be in a place you've never been before. Compact, the surface company, is the leading company in Spain marketing high-quality decorative surfaces. Founded in 1975, Compact were the first Spanish company specializing in the manufacture and distribution of marble and quartz surface coverings. In Compact, we years preparing for this moment. Compact, we have worked for a long time with all our team ha estado preparando este salto. Somos una compañía que hacemos aquello que creemos que es mejor para nosotros. Y no, no estamos dispuestos a hacer algo que no sea mejorar, digamos, entregarle a la sociedad lo que realmente quiere, aportarle a la sociedad algo realmente bello. ¿no? Y para eso, era muy importante tener a un artista y Ari que es la persona que ha sabido integrarse con nuestro equipo para desarrollar esta obra de arte, porque realmente lo que hemos conseguido hacer es una obra de arte. Design Miami, the global forum for design, brought together designer, architects and art lovers from around the world in celebration of design culture and commerce. 46 leading galleries from around the world gathered in Miami this year to show exceptional modern and contemporary furniture and objects d'art. Notable is award-winning shop architects who developed a pavilion by name of Flotsam and Jetsam, which served as a public plaza at the entrance of the Miami Design Fair, utilizing the method of 3D printing using bamboo composite material opening the doors into the next generation sustainable practices in manufacturing. The pavilion also pays homage to the spirit of collaboration that is necessary for the success in creative work of every type. One of the outstanding exhibitors of Art Basel 2016 was the Sicardi Gallery, presenting a selection of Latin American art by kinetic artists Jesus Rafael Soto, Carlos Cruz Diez, Gego, Le Parc, Alejandro Otero, Tomasello, and Leon Ferrari, among others. The selection explores geometric sculpture, painting, and drawing from a mid-century avant-garde of Argentina, Brazil, and Venezuela. 
In their diverse approaches to the problems of color, line, and form, these artists make major propositions about spatial relationships and optical sensations of depth and movement that continue to influence art, architecture, and design today. is recognized as a pioneering figure in the world of hyperrealist sculpture, which emerged around 1970. Feyerman's sculptures have always visualized a natural beauty and a sense of inner peace. For Miami Art Week, Feyerman has created a hyperrealistic sculpture by the name of Toasting to Your Health, and it is exhibited at Markovitz Fine Art at the Design District. I always thought that The golden mean and the Serena were like so iconic. And I've, they're at the National Hotel. I wanted to have something that was a little different. And I did this, the eyes are open, and she, she doesn't have a swimming suit, which I'm very famous for. And I also did um, my work, I showed my work from the late 70s, the first body of sculpture I ever made. And I thought it would be interesting for the public and people who follow my career to see like a total picture of what I'm doing and not just only the swimmers. So she's getting, she's having a lot of fun. She's been drinking crazy. It's called Toasting to Your Health. Everything is sculpted, as you know, with my work. This is all hand painted to make it look like it's knit. And this is not a real leather skirt. It's not uh, laminated clothing and the shoes are, are part of the sculpture. The only thing added is the hair and the eyelashes. The show I'm working towards this summer is the 2017 Venice Biennale where I have a solo show and this was all my, something I had a goal all my life to be invited um, to have the show and they offered me the city park right on the Grand Canal, and it's probably the greatest place you could have a show in. Feyerman's prolific career has spanned over four decades, and she has been the subject of eight museum retrospective to date. Thank you for joining us at Vive Miami News Art Forum, where you can find all the information about what's happening in the art scene in Miami. Remember to like us on Facebook, Vive Miami News. <laughs>